welcome back once again to Zimi. Zimi gives you an exclusive and comprehensive information on women's health, parenting, relationship, and family care. So, please, if you have not subscribed, kindly do that. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I upload. Thank you. So, today, guys, we shall be discussing how to keep the vagina in a good state. The vagina health is as important as a woman's overall health. And when this vagina have issues or when they have problems, the woman is left with no choice than infertility, low sexual drive, stress, relationship problems, and so on and so forth. But there is this thing I want to correct first. Most of the times or oftentimes we mistake the vulva to the vagina. No. The vagina is inside. The vulva is just the outer covering of the vagina. The place where we see easily. That is the vulva. So the vagina is inside. So knowing how to take good care of this vagina and this vulva will help you stay off their problems. Or stay off the diseases they come with. Or stay off their problems. Yes. So we have to know how to take good care of the vagina, the processes we should go, and how to do them properly. Because sometimes we take care of them improperly. Yes, what we're supposed to do, we do it upside down. So, but today we are going to deal with that. So number one thing is being sexually responsible. Yes. You need to always have your condom with you. If you are into a polygamous relationship, or if you have more than one sexual partner, you always need to go with your condom. Don't mind what people will tell you. That she has a condom in her bag, she has a condom in her handbag, this and that. No, don't mind them. It is more vulnerable to be negative than to be positive. Or to have STI. So my dear, if you cannot maintain one mutual relationship that is free of STIs, please always stay with your condom always be with it at any point in time whenever you want to make it your business just dip your hand inside your pocket and bring it out my dear it saves your life it keeps you at a good health state so that's number one and the second tip is this getting vaccination getting vaccination also help us to weigh the viruses associated with cervical cancer as well as as well as um, hepatitis b which is the deadly liver problem or deadly liver disease and we know it is spread of through sex so as getting as, as getting a vaccination is important likewise being sexually responsible because you now you've noticed and we've known that we are no longer running alone for STIs but we are also trying to protect ourselves from hepatitis B so I've given us two tips now. Then the third tip is discussing every of your medication with your doctor to know their vagina effects. Some medications have vagina effects, but we don't know. Especially those of us that go for over-the-counter medicines or over-the-counter drugs. Please, whichever one you're going for, ask of their vaginal effects. Another point is dodging. Most of the times you hear women say, I'm not feeling clean inside, I want to dodge so that I will be clean, so that I will have a good vaginal flavor, I want it to be smelling vanilla, I want it to be smelling strawberry, this or that. This is what you keep hearing. But my dear, please, no matter how you wash your vagina, you're only making yourself prone to diseases. You're making yourself prone to infections. Because the way God has made that place to be, God has created it in such a way that it takes care of itself. The vagina is not just amazing because it's the passageway for the baby, because it receives the penis, because it's, it, it, it's a passageway also for the urine and menstruation, but because it is an organ that takes care of itself. It doesn't need anyone's help. So why are you dodging? Why are you killing yourself? Why are you disrupting the balance of that vagina? So please, if you're into dodging, you better stop it. And if you're trying to go into it, my dear, don't try it. So another tip is, when your vagina or when a vulva itches you, we all know how it feels. But if you can, please don't scratch. To avoid getting it more worse. Or to avoid getting more irritation. Or even getting your getting cuts on the surfaces on the surface of your vulva. 
Then another tip is getting yourself a cotton underwear. It is very important. I understand that we ladies we want a sexy pant, we want yes, all those fanciful ones. But most of the times it doesn't come with cotton pants. Cotton pants it doesn't make it so fanciful. It doesn't make it so sexy. But my dear, we still need it. We need it. And if you notice that your pant is wet, please remove it as soon as possible. And also let's try to wipe from front to back, not vice versa. To avoid transferring <laughs> to avoid transferring what is at the back to the front, thereby giving yourself trouble or causing yourself a problem. Also, make sure of the lube you use, lubricants, that's what I mean. Make sure of the lubricants you use. Water-based lubricant is always the best. Then again, the vagina takes care of itself. So if you must wash the vulva, please do that with warm water and be gentle. Don't use sponge. Use an unscented soap. So that's all for washing the vagina, the vulva. And again, please, Always learn to sun dry your pants. Try as much as possible as you can. Always sun dry it and double rinse it after washing. This is something we wear inside to avoid the story that touches the heart. When you don't spread it under the sun, when you spread it inside the room, my dear, bacteria tries to live in it and there is nothing you can do about it. So always try to sun dry. If you are not the type that can iron on dry, it's important. So another tip is this. Another tip is this. Please, if you are the type that uses a sex toy, as much as you can, please clean it immediately after every use. Like, clean it immediately after every use. And even before every use, please try and wash it. Wash it properly. To avoid anything bad. So thank you guys for staying with us. See you next time. And do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.